Hello all, this is Wally uh, with the Tejano Traveler Adventures and today we are still in Galveston. Galveston has a lot to offer. A lot of it is touristy, a lot of it is kitschy, but some of it is actually historic and that's the part I enjoy the most. Today we're going to the Galveston Navy Museum. It's um, on one of the islands, uh, it's on Seawolf Park. I'll talk more about Seawolf Park in just a moment. but. Here at this Naval Museum, you have the USS Cavalla submarine and the USS Stewart, which is an escort destroyer. No, a destroyer escort. But first, let's go into the submarine. Submarine isn't really meant for fat, chubby people, so it was quite a struggle for me in there. All these narrow holes I had to squeeze through, which made it very sweaty, very uncomfortable. But look at all those knobs and turny things and switches and tubes. I'm sure each of those things is highly essential. There are some torpedoes. But I, it's mind-boggling trying to figure out what everything in there is for. I mean, everything in there must be there for a reason, right? Every knob, every piece of wiring, every pipe. And there's a the door that you had to squeeze through. Um, it's very difficult for me. I had to suck my stomach in, suck my butt in. Um, but I, I made it through. Um, but if there was an emergency, yeah, the soldiers behind me would be pushing me through. Um, it's very tight. It's definitely meant for smaller more agile people. Here it is from another side. Everything involved in having to go through it. And imagine if you forgot your wallet or your keys and you're like, oh man, darn it, I have to go back. And there I am squeezing through again to go get my wallet and phone. Some more twisty turny things. Some more pipes and wirings and barometers and measurement things and caution stickers. I said this submarine, the ability to put it all together, it, it boggles my mind. There's a kitchen. It doesn't look that bad. It's bigger than my kitchen. Um, some sitting areas. I guess it's a mess hall where you can have a light snack while you're hundreds of feet underground. There's the barracks, the sleeping area. They don't look too bad. They don't look nice and comfortable. Um, here I am walking the length of the submarine. As you can tell, there's not much room on either side. Submarines may look big on the outside, but on the inside, you pretty much have to squeeze through everything. More knobs. I love knobs. I love meters and looking at little things go back and forth and torpedoes which are a lot bigger than I thought they were I would have thought they'd be more like human sized but now they're pretty big and here I am finally going back upstairs to get out of the submarine and there's the steward the destroyer escort it means it escorted the destroyers to make sure that they weren't being attacked and it would help protect from submarines especially. Here I am aiming at the enemy and I had my glasses or I'm gonna miss. But the destroyer escorts would, like the title says, escort destroyers out into the battlefield. They would take care of the little skirmishes while the destroyer would be heading to it's placed, I guess, to, it would save all its artillery and let the destroyer escort do all the little work and get into a place before the destroyer was let loose. There I am, feeling my Titanic moment. Um, right at the hole, and then I'm able to go inside. And once again, it's not the easiest place to be in for fat people. But we make do. At least there's a fan. It's cool seeing how engineers were able to fit everything 
in order to survive in there. They're able to fit beds, furniture, lighting, guns, everything in order to survive. They are the cool looking machine guns. And more portholes. I like portholes. But the destroyer was put out of commission in the 60s, I think. And it's been here along with the USS Cavalla. Both of them are at Seawolf Park, which I will not talk more about. Seawolf Park is a former um, immigrant station in Galveston. That's where they would quarantine the people to make sure that they were all okay to come into the United States. Galveston used to be a big immigration port. It no longer is, now it's more for cruise ships and such. But you can still visit Seawolf Park and see some of the old structures, see some of the, um, what do you call those things, docks, uh, some of the fishing piers. I got about three or four of them there. It's nice to just go and do a little fishing, relax, forget your world troubles, forget about everything that's going on. So if you go to Galveston, make sure to visit this park, especially if you love military history like I do. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. And I will see you on my other videos. Bye-bye.